A very common question in mechanics exams is one in which an object is placed on a slope and you are asked to calculate the components of the weight of that object perpendicular to the slope and parallel to the slope. This is a question from June 2013 which is exactly asking you to do exactly that for a water drop on a car windscreen. We can see here uh, that the angle is 30 degrees to the horizontal and that the weight of the water drop is 8 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons. There is a contact force acting out of the windscreen, perpendicular to the windscreen, due to the weight of the water drop, and there is a frictional force acting up the windscreen. The water drop is stationary. What this means then is that all of the forces are in equilibrium. The first part of the question asks us to determine the component of the weight of the water drop that is acting perpendicular to the windscreen. So to do this, let's draw on our diagram where these two components are going to be. So here we have the perpendicular component and here we have the parallel component of the weight. We don't know these angles up here but we can easily deduce them. This angle here completes uh, a right angle triangle. So if that angle is 30, this one here must be 60 degrees. If you need a reminder of how to calculate the horizontal and vertical components, please refer to my video on this topic. To calculate the component acting perpendicular to the windscreen, that is the component that is not touching this angle, we need to multiply the weight by the sine of this angle. So in this case it will be 8 times 10 to the minus 5 multiplied by the sine of 60 degrees which is equal to 6.95 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 5 newtons. The second part of this question asks us to calculate the component of the weight of the water drop that is acting parallel to the windscreen, acting down the windscreen. So if this one was 8 times 10 to the minus 5 sine 60, this one, which is touching the angle here, will be 8 times 10 to the minus 5 multiplied by cos 60 which gives us an answer of 4.00 times 10 to the power of minus 5 newtons. The final part of this question asks us to determine the magnitude of this force here, F, the frictional force acting up the windscreen. Well, to do this we need to look at the forces we have acting. We can now ignore this weight acting down because we've split it into its parallel and perpendicular components. So acting parallel to the windscreen we have just two forces. We have the frictional force going up the windscreen and we have the component of the weight acting parallel to the windscreen. Therefore, this frictional force, in order for it to remain in equilibrium, this frictional force must be equal to this component of the weight parallel to the windscreen. So F equals 4 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons. To explain your answer, you need to say that the object is in equilibrium so therefore the forces acting up the slope, in this case the friction, are equal to the forces acting parallel to the slope, the weight, the component of the weight. The question doesn't actually ask us this, but for completeness we can also calculate this reaction force, because the forces acting perpendicular to the slope must also cancel each other out. So the contact force R, acting from the windscreen, must be equal to 6.95 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons, which is the component of the weight acting into the windscreen.